Yo, what's up, guys? Yo, alright, we got some dope shit coming this weekend. It's gonna be dope. It's uh, April the 16th. 16th. I'm pretty sure, I don't know. But we got some dope shit that's coming this weekend, so keep watching. That shit pushes you in a direction that is Looks like a fucking idiot. Yeah, he looks like a fat fuck. <laughs> behind this this dude got mad because he was driving slow as fuck and we literally got in front of him and he gets up beside us and <laughs> we rolled down the window and he starts talking he starts yelling he's like are you stupid i was like huh dumb. <laughs> i was playing dumb and he's like are you fucking stupid i was like what and i just like just going back and forth like that and he was like whatever and then he backs off and he just, he's like, he's been pissed for like the last like 10 miles. He just pulled up beside <laughs> us and like was just staring at me. I'm like, really? I saw it. I was like, roll your window down then. People ain't about shit. People talk all day, all day long. This shit happened yesterday. This guy was in his BMW, was talking shit, pulled up beside us. And I was like, all right, yo, this parking lot right here. Let's go. Come on. You got something to say right here. And he was like, no, dude, fuck you. And then this fucking drove away. You got a problem, bro? Yeah, bro. Fucking hey, come over here. Come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> he didn't say no, dude, but he was like, fuck you, dude. And then just drove away, like, turn right. People don't want to smoke. He thinks the world's supposed to open up and miraculously work in his favor all the time because he's driving a Maserati. That's what I, that's the vibe I get off of him. Maybe not. I know a lot of successful people who drive really nice cars and they're fucking humble as shit and they're not entitled. This guy does not seem that way. He seems like a little bitch. He's got the, the shave head, uh... The baldness, I think the sun might be getting to him, it might be a little hot. Alright, so we're running down the hallway to our breathing. Here's our Wow. Yeah, oh shit. Hell wow, yeah, dude. look at that. Look Yo. Yo, dude! Oh, shit! Oh, I know! So, this is a new hotel. The reader is off the Bro, it comes straight from the stadium. I just want to let you know I really appreciate how jiggy you're getting. I just want to let you know I really appreciate how jiggy you're getting. What, happened what is it? Play help me get the towel away. Play help me out. With jigginess? Play you help you help already out. got all the sauce. Play help me out. You have the sauce already. What sauce? You're jigging with it. Okay, you're my, calm down with kills. I need some stuff going Can you hit the dab for me? You gonna pay me? No, 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 hit the dab. Come on. Have a nice day, Twelve. All right, <laughs> see you later. Have a nice day, Twelve. Have a nice day, Twelve. Get on oh, the they think he's 12. I, do. I mean, I kind of do. Sir. We're kind of lost. We're very new to Atlanta, but we've been looking around for this store. Um, our GPS hasn't been able to lead us there and it said this was it, but it's called Big Pocket Pussies Are Us. Do you know exactly what that is? It's an adult superstore. I'm sure you've heard of it here. It's called Big Pocket Pussies Are Us. It's like Toys Are Us except for adults. And it's like a lot, it's, they specialize in pocket pussies, pussies, flashlights, like anything like that. It could be. Yeah, I saw a lot of weirdos over there. It could, that could be where it is. You're right. Well, just remember, Big Pocket Pussies R Us is the name of it. If anyone else asks you, there's a few of us riding around looking for information on that. Um, just go ahead and relay them the message. Let them know that Stocked was here. Stocked. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. We just met legit Tim in the elevator. All my friends. Yeah, I keep my friends. All my money. 
So go follow him. He was like, yeah, yeah, I make content, I'm content creators. He's like, yeah, we're content creators. I'm making music, YouTube, etc. He's like, word, I'll check you out. He's like, what's your name? It's a various underscore. Oh, well, not Aaron, I'm sure. Various layers with a Z. I was like, what's your name? He said Big Tim. I thought he said Big Tim, so I was like, Big One Zero? He was like, nah, man, Tim. I was like, word, he had a girl named Beth with him. Nice to meet you, Beth. Nice to meet you, Tim. They're cool. You see him around. They're staying at the hotel. There's a lot of the content creators staying at the hotel. There's also the Ritz down here. We're working our way down to the um, more congregated area where people just are out and about type shit. We'll come across anything, we'll show y'all. If you have any content to provide you, we'll provide the content. Also, if you guys go subscribe to him. Subscribe him. to Tim. Subscribe to Say who send you. All right. Go to this channel right here. Go to his latest video, whatever his latest video is. And in the comments, say various layers with the Z sent me. And Stephen, Stephen pretty sweet. And like actually do that because... Like, if that helps us, that'll help y'all. You gotta remember, like, we're small content creators, and we fuck, like, a lot of people fuck with us with people we know. So if y'all help us fucking get up, like, we're making the connections, but if y'all help us get up, too, by, help, by supporting people that we are connecting with, then that obviously comes back and helps y'all out at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Help us help you. The world comes back around. At the end of the day, it's selfish for you, but it's not selfish. It's selfless because you're helping us. But it helps you because we're definitely going to make it. Our dreams are going to come true. We'll hit up Story, S-T-O-R-I. You don't know who Story is? Follow him. The Official Story. That's what it is on Instagram. The Official S-T-O-R-I. You got to take life by the balls and do what the fuck. It for you. Yeah, make sure it happened for you. Stop taking a bit. Stop taking a shit from people. Be your own person. Think for yourself. Stop thinking as a group. Stop and everybody leaving. has a breaking point. Listen, everyone has a breaking point. If you're not daily trying to break yourself, your mind, your body, like exercise-wise, your mentality, your fucking emotion, emotions, like your fucking spirituality, if you're not always trying to improve and break yourself down and your soul and reach a new level that you have to push through, then fuck you. Don't talk about being hard, all right? Don't talk about how you're going to go do shit when Look, we be connection. out here doing shit. We out here. We're literally out here doing shit. And it's for not you just guys. About us. For it's us. just this is in general. Like you guys need to like people like life happens to me. Fuck that. Like people like yeah, y'all don't understand. Like they lack shit. Like that dude went through a lot of shit. Literally up to you to make shit happen. And if you don't have that mindset, I recommend you start building on that mindset because people are like, oh, they're lucky, magic, it's magic and shit. It's like no, the universe literally will open itself up for you if you put the right energy and ethic and fucking effort into what you're trying to do you have a solid intention and you visualize that shit and you're actually trying to move toward it a lot of people say a lot of shit all right that's why i don't listen to people who just talk all right words mean nothing when you're not backing it up with anything other than words okay you have to put action into that shit and that's what a lot of people don't understand so i'm gonna keep this short because this is his video and i ain't trying to take over the whole shit but make sure you put this in here because it's just important but start fucking grabbing life by the boss have an action plan, have a, strategy, have a strategy, start working on yourself daily. If you know shit's not serving your life, you're eating bad all the time, not exercising, not getting your mind right, and like listening to the wrong music, not putting good podcasts and knowledge into your mind, and don't expect fucking everything to happen for you. But you can make that happen for you, but it's up to you, up to you. I've been doing a lot of shit for the last four years, and a lot of shit, a lot of doors and opportunities to open up, which allowed me to open shit up for Steven and all my other friends. It can happen to anybody, okay? I have a story too, everybody has a story. I'm going to leave it at that. All right. Peace out. Have a great night. On another note, as we're walking across the street, just uh, got to stop taking shit from people, yeah? It's 2021. We just got we're still in a pandemic, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Who fucking cares? You'll, you're going to die one day. Live it up. Be free. If something's not going your way, fucking change it. Do something else about it. Do something else. Uh, switch it up. Don't do the same thing. Try new things. Get out there. Thomas Edison took 1,000 tries to make the light bulb. Y'all bitching me because y'all tried something five times. Like, oh my gosh, it's not for me. It doesn't work. Take risk. High risk. Take high risk. You get high rewards. Get the fuck out there. Get on the fucking world. Get out of your fucking hometown. Go back sometimes. You can go back. I'm not saying leave. But leave. At the same time, you know. Look, as long as you believe in yourself, who the fuck cares what anybody else says?
Who the fuck cares? Y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all be living y'all lives for, for people that y'all don't even fucking like just to show that y'all Or people be, don't even like you. Just to the, flex. First and foremost, if you're trying to flex for other people, but you really ain't doing it, that's stupid. Come on. Look, we, I, we pack, we pack. look I don't give a fuck if you have the nicest car, the nicest bitches, watches, whatever whatever money you think you have that buys. That's not that's not true happiness. There's a lot of successful people that are empty inside. Exactly. And money can't buy it all. So you got to find it in yourself, to believe in yourself when no one else does. And you come out to, on top as a fucking beast, you know? You will come out on hey, top as a beast. You can't speak your truth. A lot of people fake because they want other people to like them. Fuck that. Why would you want anybody to like you for your fake self if you could just be real with yourself and like have people around you who actually fuck with your real self? You but know, just like, dude, <laughs> me and him have been friends since fucking middle school. Like if you don't like the way I talk, if you don't like the way I dress or my mindset or what I have to say, then fuck you. I don't care. I hope it br brings you value. If it doesn't, I'm not turping. I'm not changing anything up for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be like that with yourself inside. And that's where all the success comes from. Whatever your success means to you. Success is very, very subjective. It don't mean big money, big houses, cars, clothes. It means whatever fulfills you and makes you happy. So you can live your life a certain way. You feel like you're providing value for yourself and others. That's what really matters. Yo, I don't understand. That was perfect timing, again. Yeah, <laughs> that shit happens all the time. Like, as soon as I sit down, the shit's gonna come out. Like, that's how perfect timing this shit is right now, bro. Like, all the time, man. Balance, G. I'm gonna put my card away. We gotta go to the fucking hotel. Oh. Fun. It's like a movie. Hey, hey, so Huh? Take this out. The piece of paper. You're living in the fucking place. Look. Three fragrance wipes. 72 fucking of them. All right, first and foremost, they're way better than toilet paper because they're made out of different shit. So, you know, I guess they're still living in paper. You know what I'm saying? Toilet paper leaves shit res on you, though, because it dries up and it's just resy. <laughs> like, you can get all the shit off. And it doesn't look like anything's on the toilet paper no more. Like if you make sure like you get it all out, but I'm telling y'all, man, I'm smell like ass. <laughs> Dude, last night was lit. <laughs> last night was lit as fuck. Met a lot of people. Dope trip so far. Uh, fight night tonight. It's gonna be fucking lit. Y'all have no idea. But y'all keep watching. Keep watching, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't at this point. I don't know what to tell you. But thank you for the like, comment, and subscribe. And share with friends. That'd be dope. <laughs> Doing it. Fight night. Let's get it. Let's fucking get it. Oh, shit. We're on a mission. We're on a fucking mission. All right, guys, so we're halfway through this mission of getting down to the ground floor, which is VIP of VIP, Snoop Dogg, everybody else. Um, we already got through the elevator clearance. Sales skills, of course. Just have to act confident, but we're going to be getting down here. It's going to be dope. You guys, you guys will see. All right, so we snuck down here. Now we're standing beside the ring. Guys, take risks, please. Please take risks. Look where we are. We're in, this, we're, is, this is six years of taking risks to get to this point. We're in the fucking shit right now. Right? We're in the fucking shit storm. We're in it. So, I don't know if you know who Too Short is, but he's a rapper. We just walked up to him, and we're like, go, where the fuck's the alcohol? He took us to a suite, gave us some drinks, and we Period. the video. That's it. That's it. Let's go.